Yes, sir. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, and we back at it with another Forza Horizon 3 build video, man. If you guys are stoked for Forza Motorsport 7, let me get a big thumbs up down there uh, and the thumbs up button. Don't hit the dislike button because that it doesn't work properly. You got to do thumbs up, man, if you guys want to get some Forza Motorsport 7 videos. I'm just excited for some new cars, man. I'm not gonna lie. But today's video is coming, or what, today's request for today's video is coming from one person in specific, man. Quando Drifter on YouTube wants to see a 2015 WRX Street or Drift build. Now, I like this idea. I'm thinking with a WRX, a Street build is probably going to be more appropriate. And that's one of the reasons that I picked this one, man. You don't get that request every single day. So we're going to go ahead and select said 2015 Subaru WRX STI right here. And we're going to make this thing a, quote, street build. Now, what that's going to mean is very sticky tires. We're going to have a nice low profile setup. And it's obviously going to be fast. And we're going to just start out with this black color right here. And then buy this thing up and get started with this build. What we're going to do is jump into the upgrade section. Now, right off of the bat, I want to check out some conversions. 6.2 liter V8. How crazy would that be to have a Subaru with a V8 engine? Uh, I think we'd probably uh, make a lot of people mad with that decision. So I'm going to steer clear of that one altogether. Uh, now, we do have a big bash bar or a front splitter. Now, since this is going to be a, quote, street build, I'm thinking the front splitter is going to be pretty appropriate. Rear wing, I do like the stock WRX wing, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that on there. Those mud flaps I don't think are necessary since we are not going to be going off-road. And uh, maybe a roof scoop just for fun. What do you guys think? Go ahead. I don't know what that does on a WRX. Maybe cools the rear brakes or gives a little ventilation to the cabin. I'm not really sure, but whatever it does, it's, uh, it's doing it right now. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and widen up both front and back tires now the rim style the wheels on this car look extremely small not just the rim but the actual tire diameter itself i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can find something that's gonna look halfway decent on this build and we're gonna go from there now i'm a real big fan of these rota uh p45s i'm not sure it looks like there might be a slight difference as to where the spoke mounts up as opposed to those other ones but i am a fan of these so i'm going to go ahead and install these we're going to go up to a 19 on this car just to give that wheel a little bit more of a bigger look now clutch wise we are definitely going to upgrade that transmission uh why not everything else it, i think is pretty decent on there now brakes we're going to go ahead and take care of that uh race springs and dampers i think are going to be uh fit for the occasion now a street build typically wouldn't have a roll cage in it but you know the most we look at this as the most extreme of race cars you know where it is illegal where it is legal i should say to have a roll cage this thing will have one um so we're gonna go i just want this thing to be nice stiff low to the ground very powerful and uh we're gonna do some extensive modifications to the engine some that we don't normally do on a lot of our builds but i think it's gonna be uh quite necessary uh, to get the performance that we're looking for out of this thing all the way up into s2 class and i think that's going to be pretty nice the way that it is so let's go ahead and install that setup now as far as the tuning goes i'm thinking we're probably going to leave the alignment the way that it is i do want this thing uh, this car here to be very low to the ground quite a bit stiffer than normal uh, you know, much like a very, uh, you know, an extreme race car would have. We're going to leave the dampening the way that it is, though, just so we can get that, uh, just so we can get that bounce rebound. And now that we got all that stuff out of the way, designs and paints, the final spot. Now, I wouldn't mind trying to find a race uh, kind of rally design. I don't know why that's the first one up here. Um, kind of a rally design that looks pretty cool, but a little vintage uh, that looks very nice that I don't know why like mm, Okay, 
Uh, as far as the designs go, that's pretty cool. The classic, maybe the Red Bull monster. I don't know, man. I'm not too sure. I want this to be a street build, but I also want it to be a race car. But a race car is not a street car. All right, we're going to go back to the paint booth. Get it together here, Squally. Uh, we're going to paint the body up. I wouldn't mind seeing this in a nice, uh, nice bright color. Let's see what the manufacturer has to offer here. The red, the blue, that dark gray. I'm thinking the dark gray is going to be nice and subtle. I do like the wheels the way that they are. Black out the windows and we'll do a carbon fiber hood. And I think that's going to be pretty much it, man. This thing is just such a clean car i'm more focused on the performance with this one as opposed to the look of it and now that we're done with that we are ready to hit the road now i gotta say i'm really liking the style of these gold wheels on the gray paint subaru street setup here let's get on the interior Definitely accelerates quite a bit. Now the handling is more so what I'm after with this thing. Not going to be drifting it, hooning it around. Ugh. Tires could use a little more grip there. Now, as a street build, this thing should be able to take corners. Enter the braking zones a little late. Still have enough grip and brake to get you out of them. You know how street racing goes. Sometimes you overshoot the, uh, you know, the objective there. You got to give yourself a little bit of leeway. It pulls very fast. There's no question about that. The only downfall I'm really seeing right now is the uh, is the braking. Possibly my driving as well, but that's a different story. Street build, not an off-road build. We got a tunnel. Roll those windows down. Just sounding like a bat out of hell. Coming in hot into that turn, no sweat there. Get on the e-brake a touch. Helps you counteract that understeer. This thing is quite pleasant to drive, I must say. It's definitely a Hoon Mobile. Not gonna get much along the ways of drifting. I'm sure if you put a, a rear wheel drive dip on this thing, you probably have a little bit more fun along that lines, but hit the e-brake, ass end kicks out, straightens out. It's nice, man, I like it. Trying to get these drift points, but that all-wheel drive just wants to keep throwing you straight, man. Oh, man, just sneaking by there. So as far as the drift build goes, it could use a little bit more grip up front. I'm thinking the... Uh, the brakes could use a little Your bit more pressure. To complete nearby. Would you like me to set a route there no, I'm you? quite all right. I'm just in the middle of something here. I appreciate it, though. Um, but, I mean, aside from that, very nice build. Looks great. Handles perfect, I must say. Um, you guys let me know what you thought of this one down in the comments section. Now, like I say, Forza Motorsport 7. Ladies and gentlemen, 
next week. So let me know what builds you guys want to see for that. And I'm thinking that's about it for this one. So as always, I am your boy Denali, a.k.a. Don Squally. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And we're going to catch y'all at the next one, man. Peace. Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Oh,